Hey everybody, so I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day or night whenever you're watching this. I This video is basically the um, the Diva Debs PS Protect the Style Challenge Wrap Up of Month Number Dose 2. And I'm glad to say that I am still here in the challenge. And this video is basically going to, I'm um, basically going to tell you about, you know, about my protective style and what the protective styles are to come and other things of that nature so hopefully this video is not too long um this is probably about the fourth or fifth time recording this so this one is it <laughs> this is it okay so here we go so first things first um the diva des protective style challenge i joined this challenge and um it's for six months and it's my first time joining this challenge and i wanted to because i'm like you know let me do a protective style and you know do the low manipulative styles as well so because there are two categories the low manipulation styles and the fully protected styles so i'm like back and forth with it as you can see i'm in the fully protective category right now so yeah so just to get a little bit into the kinky twist and um, the characteristics of it, I purchased this from my local beauty supply store and um, it's the Janet collection I believe, The um, it's something I don't know but um, it's in one of my videos, I forgot which video it was, if I remember I'll definitely link it in the description bar below, I can't remember off the top of my head but um, it's the Marley Braid um, twist hair. And I always mix color in here. I'm not sure what the colors, you know, what's the one B for. I don't, I don't know what it is. But I always get this particular color and mix it in because since I don't dye my hair, I like to like mix in some color, you know, have a little color pop so it could be, you know, it won't be all just one color. I always do that with braids or whatever I have in my hair. Um, so that's basically about that. It took them about, I went to my, Afri um, an African braiding place that I always go to when I need to get my hair braided, twist, um, things of that nature. And it only took about six to seven hours, not too long. I wasn't in there all day. I was pretty much kind of in and out. I mean, you know, I know y'all like six hours. I mean, yeah. So, um, but that's basically it. And what else? I, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so the pro no let's go to the cons first the cons to having a fully protected style to me these skinny twists is that I miss my hair I can't really get to my hair the way I want to as far as shampooing my hair and I have a video on it that I just did if you guys go check it out click here okay and I recently washed my hair with the kinky twist in and I definitely did a technique that I've seen on YouTube but I did it with a shampoo bar so I'm not gonna get into depth about it you just have to look at the video and see what I did and that's basically is very simple and I concentrated on my scalp as as you know and whenever you know when you wash the shampoo out it definitely goes down your hair strands what I have you but definitely I'm concentrating on the scalp because that's where your hair grows out of your scalp so I'm definitely definitely was concentrating on that um, part of my hair because that needs to be clean because all the oils and things I'm putting on it all the time the sprays and things of that nature so yeah so anyway the cons to that like I said before I miss my hair I can't get to my hair the way I want to so it's like it's kind of hard to do the lock the, I'm sorry the LCO method and I use the LCO method um, liquid cream and oil if you guys are not familiar so um, I X'd out cream because I didn't want all that build up on my hair as opposed to you know so I just did the LO so I did kind of like a bootleg LCO method I said that in my moisturization uh, moisturizing my kinky twist with or without oil and in that, in that video I spoke about that and so you could definitely check it out here click here and I'll definitely go into depth about that so I'm not going to go into depth about that in this video because it's just a wrap up video so I do a bootleg LCO method so I use the liquid and the oil whatever oil I use I go back and forth with other a lot of oil Oils, um, between the Alake Naturals, um, I introduced a new oil to my um, regimen, which is the JBC, oh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I've been using the regular home health brand castor oil but i switched up to jbco but i'll definitely let you guys know in like a hair update video or something like that or whenever i take my kinky twist out i'm not sure so i let you guys know into more depth you know why i you know switch to the jbco okay um so that's basically it about that and th those are the cons to having the kinky twist in my hair just that i can't get to my hair the way i want to as you know 
if my hair was loose you know so but that's basically it um the pros to this just that is very convenient especially if you have a busy life if you're a mom you know or you work heavily or go to school heavily or what have you or if you're in a rush and you don't have time to really do your hair this is a very good style or whatever braids or singly twists or whatever you want to put in your hair it's a good style to you know um be convenience of and i really think i is a very convenient style because in the morning time all i have to do is spray my hair i spray it with um obia naturals or i spray it with allocate naturals whatever refresher spray that i can get to i will use it but i always use the obia naturals I, i've been using ob i'm sorry obia naturals natural hair care Ugh. I'm just killing it. I'm sorry. I apologize. Ovia Natural Hair Care. I use this. It's all the way down to here. Dangerously low. I'm like this much. So um, I use this all the time. Shake it up and spray it on my hair. I still use my concoction. Um, if you guys are not familiar with it, definitely go check the video out with the moisturizer and my kinky twist. And that's basically it. So I definitely get my moisture in and I... I, I get it in so um, but that's basically about that so that's basically the pros about it just it's very convenient um, I do simple styles and this is the simple style that I do all the time so I can have the hair out of my face I do I take you know the size of um, the twist of my hair and I just tie it so I'll show you guys from the back Okay, so that's all I do. It's very simple. It's nothing, you know, I, I don't even think it's really a style. So it's just, just basically getting the hair out the way. Or I'll put my hair in a ponytail or something like that. I don't do nothing drastic, French rolls and all that stuff. I'm very simple when it comes to kinky twists. And I don't want to fully manipulate my hair like that while my hair is a kinky twist. Because for me, the point of protective styling is to kind of let your hair rest. And plus, my edges are fragile. I tell you guys, all, I tell you guys that all the time. And so I don't want to over manipulate my edges a lot and when I do pull this back if it's too tight I'll take my braid and I'll I'm sorry my twist and I'll pull it a little bit so it won't be that much tension on my edges so that's what I always do um, and that's basically it about that so I only washed my hair one time since I had these kinky twists in I'll be taking this kinky twist out in the next couple weeks or probably a week so we shall see how I feel but um, it's not gonna be in my hair very long I only do kinky twists once out the year um, I'm not sure I may do it again next year. I may join the challenge again next year. We shall see what happens, you know. And that's basically it. Um, so that's the pros about that. Other protective styles that I will be doing will be like the, the goddess braid that I always see on YouTube. Uh, Mama Day definitely did a video on her goddess braid or Grecian braid, however you want to, you know, call it. And I, that was so beautiful. So go check her out, Mama Day. And so I'm definitely going to, you know, do want to do that style. Diva Deb has a hairstyle in her hair right now that's on her on her wrap up video and that looks cute. I'm definitely gonna copy that. I'm copying. <laughs> and um, so that's basically about that. And I would definitely be doing the, the faux bun, the fox bun, however you wanna say it. You know, put my hair up and put the Marley hair around there and that's basically it. And I'll do the same with the goddess braid. Probably add some hair just to have my hair a little bit full. Or I will, we'll see how my hair looks. You know, I maybe just use my own hair. We'll see. But you know, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever works for you. Okay. So that's basically it about that. And what else can I I say yeah so those are the protective styles that I'll be doing also I will go to my manip my low manipulative style which is the braided fro hawk that I usually do and that's basically it so um that's will be the remainder of my protective styling or I'll do my my um my regular uh you know the head wrap and I did buy a wig you guys um I don't wear wigs and my sister was like yeah why don't you get a wig instead of wearing you know your head wrap all the time you know maybe if you want to deep condition on the go and put your you know put the wig on uh yeah I guess I mean I don't know but yeah so anyway um I'll let you guys know and if you see me on camera with a wig then that's what happens but I don't know <laughs> it's just I don't know wigs are really not for me so we'll, we we shall see but that's basically it about that. And what else I want to touch on? Oh, and Miss Diva Deb mentioned me in her video. And she said I was definitely doing the most. And um, since I told you guys in the beginning of the video that I washed my hair in the shower. I didn't tell you I washed my hair in the shower. I don't know. But anyway, I washed my hair in the shower. And yeah, so she said, yeah, I was definitely doing the most. So, you know, and I'm glad, you know, I'm very happy that she shouted me out. Yay! Thank you, Miss Diva Deb. 
so that's basically it and um definitely go check her channel out she's very awesome i really really like her she's very she's a very sweet person and i recommend you to go to her channel because it's awesome <laughs> so that's basically it you guys i'm trying to think of what else i should say oh and also before i fully washed my hair um probably like two weeks after i got my kinky twist in i took some witch hazel on a cotton swab and um i you know went through my uh, not edges through my scalp and you know to cleanse my hair that way that was before i fully washed my hair with shampoo so you guys can do that as well in between washes if you plan to keep your um, protective styling longer or what have you. So that's a good cleanser, you know, a little cleansing agent to get some of the buildup, you know, the oils, grease, whatever you use on your scalp off your hair. So I seen that on, I think, Island Girl, I think. Yes, um, she did Witch Hazel, and I've seen other YouTubers as well. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. I hope I said the name right. I'll put it in the description bar below or in the screen somewhere. But she, um, you know, cleanses her hair with the Witch Hazel, so that's a good idea as well. So, yeah, that's my wrap-up. I know it was long. I, you guys know I like to talk, but I'm going to get out of here. And um, I really appreciate Miss Diva Dev for having this challenge. It's really a really great challenge to be motivated and protected and, you know, talking to other natural leaders and sharing each other you know um, ideas and what's going on and especially in her group called it's about the curls on Facebook definitely go check that out and it's a lot of interaction on there as far as everyone you know showing their pictures showing what problems they are having with their hair showing you know hair porosity just talking about everything about hair which is great and is a very motivating group and very interactive group and i really like it a lot and it's growing day by day so definitely go check it out it's on facebook it's all about the curls definitely go check miss diva deb out and that's basically it you guys i mean if i left anything out i entertain in the video i know i talked you guys head off already but you know how i do so that's basically it you guys and i'm learning a lot about my hair and my new growth i'm having a lot of new growth so it's like ah, the takedown is gonna be serious so yeah i'm gonna be here all day probably but yeah that's basically it so I, i'm feeling like i forgot something but if i did i'll definitely definitely annotate in the video okay yeah so that's basically it you guys if you have any questions comments or concerns please let us say that if you don't want to ask a comment below you could definitely ask me in my email which is marquita1970 at gmail.com okay if you can't comment section in the comment section below because you know g g plus you know google plus i mean anyway but that's basically it you guys so 